Chapter 11. The settings of normal working hours. This is a sample of the most general settings in a working environment. For more samples of settings, please refer to the software user manual. Click configuration icon and select clocking schedule. A default schedule zero is ready. Click edit to configure. Insert the name of a clocking schedule, for example, normal working hours. Define the rest day and work day. Insert schedule time into each slot, for example, in at 9 hours, lunch at 12 hours 30 minutes, resume at 13 hours 30 minutes, and out at 18 hours. Next, click on Tab Range. It is recommended that you leave it as default. However, you can specify the maximum time that a particular clocking falls into the time slot. For example, if clock-in is permitted until 12 p.m. in the in slot, you can enter 1200 hours into the in column. This means that the clock-in from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. will be considered as in. Next, click on the tab Settings. The first option is to allow a grace period for those who are late. For example, if you enter 15 minutes in this column, anyone who clocks in within the 15 minutes after the official in time, he or she will not be considered late in the attendance sheet. The second option is to allow a grace period for those who clock out early. For example, if you enter 15 minutes in this column, anyone who clocks out within the 15 minutes before the official out time, he or she will not be considered clocking out early at the attendance sheet. The third option is to set a compulsory minimum working time that is qualified for overtime. For example, if you set 60 minutes, overtime will only be calculated after he works for more than 60 minutes after the out time. This overtime will also include the first 60 minutes after the clock out time. The fourth option is to set the number of hours allowed to claim for overtime in a day. This is to be left as default. The fifth option is to round up or round down total working hours. For example, if you put 15 minutes and your total working hour is 8 hours and 10 minutes, you will automatically be rounded up to 8 hours and 15 minutes. The sixth option is to round up or round down total overtime hours. For example, minus 15 minutes and your total overtime is 4 hours and 10 minutes, you will automatically be rounded down to 4 hours. The seventh option is to define the time duration for flexi lunch or flexi dinner. This is only applicable if flexi-hour clocking is used. Otherwise, leave it empty. The eighth option is to select whether you want to exclude lunch or dinner hour from the total working hour. If yes, just select yes at the checkbox. The ninth option is to select whether you want to enable calculation of overtime before in time. For example, this is only needed when you have afternoon shifts and users want to come in to work as overtime in the morning. Click Save to save the settings. Click Close to save the settings. Click Group Duty Roster. A Group Duty Roster 0 is ready. Click Edit. Insert the name of the group duty roster, for example, normal working hours. Click Auto Schedule. Clocking Schedule 0 is loaded into the group duty roster automatically. Click to define the date range applicable to this group, for example, from 1st January to 31st December. Click OK and Save. Click Save to save the settings. Click Close to save settings. Click Apply. Click Users icon. 
assign selected users into the group duty roster normal working hours. Click Apply to save the settings. Now you can start downloading the data from the terminal to calculate for the attendance. You can refer to the software user manual to configure other types of working scenarios.